Well, Martina Fuchs is on the ground in Davos covering the event for us. She's got two movers and shakers at the event who is ready to speak about their experiences and outlooks for 2014. Hi, Martina. What do you got for us? Hi, Michael. We are joined here today by two very important guests. One is uh, Kathy Gong. She is the founder and chairwoman of KG, an investment company in China, as well as Jaspal Bindra, who is uh, the CEO for Asia for Standard Chartered. Now, let me ask uh, Kathy first of all. Kathy, we have heard that the uh, theme of the WEF uh, this year is uh, the reshaping of the world, consequences for society, politics, and business. From a Chinese perspective, what are your expectations? Well, um, from our perspective, vision of, especially as a young Chinese, um, I see the reshaping more of a deforming. This is a, an era of deforming the the the, the uh, status quo of uh, of the economics, which uh, in China you can see um, the especially the, the venture capital markets are uh, very vibrant and dynamic with uh, the um, emerging startup companies with all kinds of innovative ideas and also this is a um, when we talk about the global market uh, I don't see this uh, much difference between nowadays global and local because uh, to be frank this is no local company um, existing or it can't be existed for long run because we said the global supply chain and um, every global market and has to be local, where the local market will embrace the, the global synergy. So that's what I my view on the theme of this year. Jaspal, uh, there is a session called uh, China Contact today at the WEF. Uh, from an uh, Asian banking perspective, uh, what kind of structural reforms would you like to see from China this year? Well, firstly, China is on such a takeoff. Um, momentum. Uh, it is already the world's number two economy. It's now become the world's number one trade country. Uh, I'm told 128 countries have China as their trading partner around the world. Uh, we think the reforms are uh, very significant. Uh, I think in our lifetimes we're going to see the birth of the second major currency. We saw the euro in 2000 and now we're seeing RMB. Uh, but given where China is placed, RMB has more wings to take off, so clearly we can see that and we've seen that in the short run. Uh, of course, a lot of the other change uh, in the liberalization uh, that is being brought about by the Chinese authorities will test some vested interests, it will have teething problems, it will have challenges, but I have to say they're all in the right direction. Kathy, uh, your company KG is focusing on uh, investments, consulting, business and other activities in China. Now, you have a very Asian portfolio, but also eyeing uh, global opportunities. What is in there for you uh, this year? Well, I think uh, what we stand out is uh, our competitiveness of speaking um, the intimate language of Chinese. Uh, we understand Chinese culture, way of doing things in, in China, and also the um, the, the, the Asia perspective or Chinese perspective yet as a young generation we, we actually were very international background of the, of the team uh, with the team we have uh, six nationalities uh, working uh, in the company so we have a quite a um, global perspective as well I guess that gives us what, the, uh, what you call a competitive uh, edge of standing up Within uh, China, which uh, sectors uh, and areas are you focusing on in terms of uh, investment opportunities? Um, we are um, focused on, we have been focusing on, on uh, infrastructure and the city development, especially with uh, green city development, which we see it's a, uh, it's a very sustainable and also it's a, it's a long run trend because the, um, uh, the urbanization is, um, urbanization and globalization is one of the two biggest trends um, happening in the market. Jaspal, uh, Standard Chartered is a bank with a large Asian footprint and uh, it opened its first uh, ba bank branch in Shanghai in 1858 already. What is your business outlook uh, in the Chinese market this year? Well, as you said, uh, we've been here a long time, over 155 years, uh, and we are here for the long run. Uh, so we look at business over a very long period of time. Uh, we clearly uh, have... Uh, uh, a strong interest in China as Asia is our home uh, market and uh, we will leverage uh, all our international expertise in China uh, to make it happen. Uh, we see 
very good times ahead for us in China. Uh, whichever way, whether we look at international trade, mm -hmm. uh, we look at consolidation, we look at privatization, we look at domestic consumption, we look at the RMB emergence. I mean, all of those play to our strengths. In terms of uh, RMB internationalization, what kind of hopes uh, do you have? There are a lot of economists who expect uh, internationalization of the currency only in about 10 years' time. Are you more bullish than that? Oh, much more bullish. I think uh, uh, it is fair to say that it is uh, reasonably internationalized already. Um, I think it is some way away from being the reserve currency contender. Uh, but clearly, I think the purpose is saved, served if it becomes internationally a very familiar currency in which it is very much on its path to. Kathy, uh, you are here until uh, Sunday. Now there are a lot of uh, sessions and uh, different uh, workshops as well. What do you hope to get from the web? Well, um, to me, I do think that the forum is uh, one of the most proactive and uh, um, the place where you can speak of your mind. And people come here not only for networking, but for ideas, for the really next big things. Um, and at the web, actually, um, if you look around, you can find a very quite special group of young people that are in, uh, disruptors of the form. They are called global shapers. And they are around their 20s, but with a uh, perhaps our most bold, um, bold ideas, innovative ideas. So um, I guess for my, what I want to take away from the wealth is, uh, first of all, it's energy, and, and which can, can, can um, guide the direction of the company um, for the long run. And second of all, it's, uh, it's, um, um, it's uh, the mechanism and also the, the dynamic um, ideas of uh, uh, creating this um, uh, exciting um, innovation energy. Jaspal, uh, we are here surrounded by a lot of Chinese companies as well. There is Wanda, there is uh, Soho China, for example, and uh, Cathy, obviously, as well. Do you see a lot of opportunities uh, to make deals uh, with China, or is the web just a you know, talk feast? I think, uh, as Cathy said, it has uh, multiple options uh, to uh, take advantage of. Uh, we clearly interact a lot with our clients here, including the ones from China, uh, but it's also a great time to meet uh, state leaders and uh, uh, other institutional heads. Uh, but most important it is to really uh, get the themes for the year, see where the mood is. It's a good benchmark of testing mood. Uh, I think we're already seeing some first happen in Davos 2014, uh, Iran participating after I don't know when, if ever, before, um, you know, 40 foreign ministers gathered to discuss peace in Syria. I mean, you know, these were not the kind of forums for that to happen. It's a first uh, uh, such move. But uh, China clearly, uh, year after year, has shown more presence. Uh, in many years, it used to clash with the Lunar New Year celebration, uh, but I think WEF has made amends to make sure that doesn't happen again. Well, then we can already wish everybody a Happy New Year, and I do hope that you will have some time to enjoy uh, the Swiss snow as well and go skiing on these uh, white slopes uh, behind me. That's uh, all from us today. Michael, back to you in the studio. All right, some very interesting insights. Many thanks for your report, Martina Fu, speaking to our guests, Kathy and just Paul, at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland.